My name is Daniel Ikeka Ito. You may recognize me from social media posts as yesterday's story on Olukai or the Anywhere Aloha Friday where I showed you my meditation and stretching routine that I practice daily every morning. I'm still looking for inner peace and I'm still working on my mobility. But today, I'm gonna share with you a secret on how to fix your board quickly and get out there. Thank you to Olukai for having me on Anywhere Aloha Fridays again. What we have over here is a 6-0 retro sting shaped by the late great Ben Ipa. I had this board made for me 15 years ago. And as you can see, it's had its fair share of dings. One of the things that I learned from Ben was this trick that I'm going to show you. So we're gonna fix this surfboard ding and what we need is some UV cure resin and I like the one from this ding repair kit. And the real secret to this whole thing is parchment paper. So I'm gonna show you today on Anywhere Aloha Friday how you fix a ding quickly. And we've used this method numerous times at the Kamehameha Surf Team. Okay, step one in this whole deal is critical. You use your 60 grit sandpaper or rough sandpaper. And what we're gonna have to do is, we're gonna have to rough up the area around the ding. Now this ding is on the deck so that's why this is gonna be a little bit easier of a fix job than if you ding the board on the rail or even the tail or the nose. But what it's gonna do is create a rough surface so that the resin and fiberglass has something to hold on to and bind. Okay, check this out. That's the ding all roughed up. We used our 60 grit sandpaper. And I can feel it. It's rough and it's ready for us to fix. Now what we're gonna do is tape off the area, the ding, where we're gonna work. So what I'm doing is I'm going to tape off the area that we are going to be fixing I'm gonna make a little square. That's our work area. I like using painter's tape or masking tape because it's easy to come off, but I have done the same method with uh, stickers before, just because we were at the beach trying to fix these things super fast. So this is something that we've done before at a Kamehameha Surf Team contest. I've done it before where I just ding my board real quick and then I come in and then I fix it so I can get back out there. So we got our area squared off now and now we're gonna get our parchment paper and this is the secret. I'm gonna cut a square about that big and what the parchment paper allows us to do is put a cover on top of the resin and it's gonna be smooth. So then we don't have to finish sand after. And that saves a lot of time. And this is why it's a quick fix. So parchment paper or wax paper you can use. And I always keep this in my ding repair kit. Boom. So now what we're gonna do is tape the parchment paper down and we're gonna make sure that it's gonna be tight. The reason we want it to be as tight as possible is because we just want this area where the ding is to be as smooth as possible. Oh, you can see Painter's tape is not that strong. There we go. So yeah, we're gonna pull.
pull that sucker tight right there. And I'm doing this ahead of time because as soon as I mix the resin, this is UV cure resin, it's gonna start drying quickly. The other thing that's gonna help it really dry quickly is the catalyst. And the catalyst speeds up the chemical reaction of the resin to dry. So right there, I'm gonna peel this part up. I got this. I'm gonna be ready to go when I'm ready to go with the resin. All right, so we got a UV cure sanding resin for a polyurethane board. So this is a polyurethane board. This is not an epoxy board. And a little trick I learned from one of my best friends, Matt Kawe, to reinforce this kind of ding fixing is to get these fiberglass and what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it up and we're gonna put this at the bottom of our resin mixture. What this is gonna do is he calls it a slew and it's gonna create a little bit more reinforcement of the resin so it's not just resin because if it was just resin most likely as soon as I step on it, it's gonna break. This way, you're just putting these fibers in. You're gonna make the resin a little bit stronger. And cut it up. You don't need to cut up that much. Boom, okay. So you see that? Got our slew, got our mixing stick ready. And then, resin you don't even need that much um a story about matt is when we were in high school matt used to get all his high performance longboards from carl shopper and ben ipa and matt is the one that introduced me to ben ipa who taught me this trick with the parchment paper and who was a mentor of mine okay so check it out you can see where the fiberglass is right in the middle there. Mix it up and I wanna take that part and I'm gonna put it on top of the thing. But then we're gonna use our catalyst and we're gonna put our catalyst in. And so as soon as I put this in, it's gonna start hardening the resin. So you gotta be kinda of quick. And I'm gonna mix it. Mix it with my slew, mix, mix, mix. You can sometimes feel it getting hot too. Oh, I can see it hardening already. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take that fiberglass slew that showed you and now we're gonna put it onto the ding. And that's kind of a lot. Might not need that much but it's okay if it goes off on the sides because that's why we taped it off. So boom, we got a little square. We'll put that down. And then with our parchment paper, we're gonna get it and we're gonna try to make it as flat as possible. And that's why we got our squeegee. Ready, so we can hold it down, make it tight. And if you see here too, there's a little bit of the resin that kind of leaked out, but I mean that's super easy to clean up too. So I'm not even tripping on that because right after this, when it dries, it's just gonna come right off. But I'm gonna take 
that part off so that holds tight. Okay, something else that I like to do that I forgot to show you is, so you know my mixing stick, right? I put it right next to the ding and where it's being fixed so I can tell when the resin's hard. So that's gonna prevent me from pulling out the parchment paper too early while it's still tacky. So this is gonna be kind of my gauge and I'm gonna check it in about 10 minutes. Okay, check it out. This is dry. So that means our ding is all being fixed. So you're gonna take off the tape. And take off our parchment paper. Whoa. So smooth, so smooth. Let's clear off our working area. You see how the resin binded to the tape, but the resin comes off super easy from the tape because the tape is not a rough surface. Oh, check it out guys. Ding is fixed. Now I'm gonna wax up the board and then I'm gonna get out there. Mahalo Olukai for having me on Anywhere Aloha Friday and hope you guys learned something on how to fix a surfboard ding quickly so you can get in the water quickly. What I'm gonna do is surf this thing today and then when I'm pile surfing, I'm gonna clean off the wax again and do a long-term fix. Ah, who am I kidding? I'm super busy with two kids. I'm just going to drop it off at the dinking, but at least I know I can surf it today and not worry about my board getting waterlogged because I do love this board. So thanks again for watching, guys. Hopefully see you out in the lineup. Ahui ho.